Hello my friends, it's Danny, and today I am sharing the most delicious recipe for your lunchtime meal prep. I'm making my chicken burrito bowls. This recipe is so easy to make, it is so yummy, and it's perfect for those of you who wanna pack your lunch for school or for work. So I'm gonna jump right in, I'm gonna start by making my cauliflower rice. I've got a nice large saute pan heating up over a medium heat, and to that I'm just adding a little bit of olive oil, and once that oil has heated up, a bit of chopped up garlic. I like to salt my garlic. I do the same with my onions whenever they get in the pan. This helps for them to release the water and cook up a little bit faster. And then once that garlic is fragrant, you know you're ready to add in the cauliflower rice. So I've got four cups of riced cauliflower. So I'm gonna season that with some salt and some black pepper. And then I'll add just about a quarter cup of a low sodium chicken broth in there. You could also use water here. Pop the lid on and let that cook for just about three to four minutes. It does not take long for the cauliflower rice to soften up, so you don't wanna go too far. It cooks up rather quickly. Now you can, of course, rice the cauliflower yourself. It's easy enough to do, but personally, I like to buy it pre-riced at the grocery store. It's just very easy and very convenient this way, and it definitely makes making the recipe a bit faster. Then once it's cooked, I'm just gonna transfer this into a bowl and let it cool for a few minutes before we season it. Now, just as a side note, you could of course sub in some brown rice or some quinoa if you didn't want to do the cauliflower rice, but personally, I love the cauliflower rice because not only is it delicious, but it's a really easy way to add another vegetable to the dish. Then once my rice has cooled down a bit, I'm just gonna add in some chopped scallions, chopped fresh cilantro, and a big squish of fresh lime juice. Gently toss that all together. It's a really simple way of infusing a lot of flavor into the cauliflower rice and some great texture as well. Once I've got my rice all seasoned and ready to go, I'm gonna set that aside and I'm gonna cook up the meat. So back over to the stove, I've got that large non-stick saute pan. I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil and then in goes some ground chicken. Now I'm using one and a quarter pound lean organic ground chicken here, but you could also do ground turkey, ground beef, ground bison. Just use what you have, use what you love. And if you wanted to make this um, burrito bowl vegetarian or vegan, you could sub in some baked tofu. And if that's of interest to you, I will leave my link down in the description box below. Then you just wanna continue to break up the chicken until you have nice little crumbles like I have here. And once you notice that the meat has gone from translucent to opaque, then you're ready to add in your seasoning. So I have a couple tablespoons of uh, taco seasoning here. This is a taco seasoning that I make myself. I've shared this with you all before. If you want the recipe, I will leave it for you down in the description box below. But you can of course also buy taco seasoning at the grocery store and use that. Do note that I'm not adding any additional salt and pepper because my taco seasoning has salt and pepper in it. But Taste as you go. And if you feel like you need a little extra seasoning, then just go ahead and add it in. I'm just gonna continue to stir this until I've got all of the chicken coated with those spices and the chicken is completely cooked through. Then I'll shut off the heat and let that cool a bit while I assemble the rest of the ingredients, which could not be any easier to do. Really, all I'm doing is I have some canned black beans. I'm gonna drain those out and then give them a good rinse. I have a couple cups of um, organic non-GMO corn that I bought frozen, and then I just let it sit at room temperature until it was defrosted. And then I've got some grape tomatoes here. You could also do cherry tomatoes. I just like to slice those in half and then again and slice them so I have, they're in little quarters just like this. Okay, once you've got all of your ingredients ready to go, this is very easy to do. You're just gonna line them up and then we're going to build our burrito bowls. Now, personally, I love to use these three cup meal prep containers. These are from Pyrex. Of all of the different meal prep containers that I use and experiment with, I find that these are the ones I come back to the most often. I personally, I just really like the size of them. I like how easy the lids go on and off and I like the way they stack in the fridge. So if that's something you're in the market for, I'll leave a link down in the description box below. So starting on one side of my meal prep container, I'm gonna layer in the cauliflower rice that we made, then a layer of the corn, then black beans, the ground taco turkey, and my quartered tomatoes. You're gonna repeat that until you've used all the ingredients, which will get you four meals. This is so simple and so beautiful and truly could not be any easier to make. Now these can certainly be done just like this, as is, they're prepped and ready to go, but I love to make a really yummy sauce to eat with them. It just kind of brings all of the flavors together. So what I do is I take some plain Greek yogurt 
And then I add a couple tablespoons of chipotle peppers in adobo sauce. Now you can buy that right in a little can like this. You don't wanna use the actual peppers, I'm just using the sauce for this. So you just mix that in and give it a squish of lime juice. Bring that all together, and then this is a great topping for the burrito bowls. I tried to be fancy and squish it over the top, but I'm not good at fancy, so realistically speaking, I usually leave this just stored in the fridge on the side, and then I just add a plop on top when I'm ready to eat. These chicken burrito bowls are a really easy way to set yourself up for a lovely, nutritious lunch during mm. the week. Mm. Mm. Um, when it's time to eat them, I will either pop them in the microwave to heat them up, and then I might transfer it into a bowl and just mix everything together. But more often than not, I just eat it right out of the container cold, which may sound weird, but I'm gonna tell you, it is rather delicious. You guys are going to love this one, and I cannot wait to hear what you think. So do me a favor, and when you give it a try, tag me on Instagram and on Facebook so I can see all of the clean deliciousness you are whipping up in your very own kitchens. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Danny Spees, and I'll see you back here next time with some more clean and deliciousness. Cheers. And today I am boom, organic ground turkey here, but you could really use chicken. We're using chicken because these are chicken bowls. Now I'm using one and a quarter pound of lean organic ground turkey, but you could chicken ground turkey. Now, of course, I'm having issues today. Chicken doesn't roll off the tongue like turkey. Mmm!